Hello, everybody, and welcome to round two of week. This is week five of the Community Super League. I'm Gabby Sparts with Hallie in the booth. Yeah. Uh, actually, more than just Hallie in the booth. Do you want to introduce everybody who's here? Sure. Uh, thanks to the wonders of technology, my two co-hosts, Erin Campbell and Chris Schultz, have phoned in. Uh, so they're here along with us, too. Hey. Hello. Everybody say hi. Hey. <laughs> Hello, and we are getting ready to play Momir. So, Hallie, you said you haven't played Momir before? Mm -mm. It's going to be a wonderful experience. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I was actually uh, watching a bit of your stream earlier today when you were playing Momir, and it sounds like you had a really exciting game. It's probably the best game of Momir I have ever played, and I've, I've played a lot of Momir, <laughs> for better and for worse. Mm -hmm. Played a lot of Momir. There's a lot of cool cards that you can get when you're getting them at random, and basically we kept getting cards that meant that I couldn't win the game and they couldn't win the game, or like right. life totals couldn't change or creatures couldn't attack, so. Yeah, it's a super fun format and uh, we're all looking forward to playing it. I know Aaron and Chris, you guys haven't played it yet either, right? No, I have nope. not. Yeah, so. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a great week then. You yeah. guys are in for a treat. Mimir is great. I really recommend it to anybody. Who, I used to be such a skeptic. I used to think it was like, well, it's so dumb. Like you're just getting creatures at random, but it's actually really, really fun, so. For sure. Um, we also have a really awesome treat for you guys at home. Uh, we have an Eternal Masters preview card that we'd like to share with you. Um, and I'm especially excited about it because it's one of my favorite creatures in all of Magic. It's Brago, King Eternal. I can't not laugh. We're, we're told not to talk while that is going on, but I can't not laugs. That's really I funny. Have, I have such fond memories of who's that Pokemon yeah, when I was a kid. <laughs> Pokemon shirt today. This is a good, qu nice coincidence today. Nice. <laughs> so uh, you really like Brago, is that right? I, I do. Um, I have a cube. Um, it's not strictly a modern cube, but it's a modern bordered cube, so Brago definitely fit that bill. And yeah. uh, this is one of my favorite cards to play in a blue-white tempo deck. Um, Brago, as you can see, is a 2-4 flyer, and whenever he deals combat damage to a player, you can exile any number of uh, non-land permanents that you control, then return those cards to the battlefield under your control again. Um, so you can do things like uh, get extra use out of creatures with enter the battlefield effects. Like if you have a mana war, uh, you, can, uh, you can use that ability again. You can blink a mole drifter. You can blink... Uh, a blade splicer, any kind of creature that has a cool enter the battlefield effect, uh, you can make extra use of that. So I just, I just love Brago so much. I have a soft spot in my heart for him, and you know, I. And I I've just been on the receiving end of that. All those creatures <laughs> that she <laughs> named that you can pair with Brago, she used against me when we were cubing, and I've never seen. I've known Hallie for three years now, going on, and that is the happiest I've ever seen her to be playing a card or playing a combo, and just God bless it. Love yeah, Brago's, Brago's really cool. My experience with Brago is mostly in uh, in drafting cube, and obviously cube has a lot of creatures that have awesome ETB abilities, and blue, white tend to be like more controlling decks where you have some of those creatures that care more about ETB or like cards with a lot of tempo, Mana Wars, one that you named. That was actually previewed earlier today. Marshall got to preview that. Um, also, whenever you play with Brago, you get to say sick Bragos every time you do anything, so <laughs> right? there is some value to that. <laughs> so much value. <laughs> All right, Very so are cool. we about ready to throw down? Let's do yeah. it. Yeah, so it looks like we're ready to throw down the match. And, and just for everybody at home, we're trying something different this week at the Community Super League. Because Momir uh, has no hidden information, we know everything that's on the battlefield, and obviously everything in our hand is just lands, uh, we're actually going to be casting our own matches. So we are going to see how that goes, and it looks like you guys are about, to ready, about ready to join the match. Is that correct? Yep, we are working on that right now. Cool. Do you guys put a lot of thought into the lands that you put in, into your decks today? We did, yeah. Uh, we were reading a couple quick primers on it. And, oh, the uh, Momir strategy? Momir strategy, yeah. Believe it or not, there is actually Momir strategy, which I know sounds weird. Um, but there, there is like stuff that you can do to play better in Momir. I know, it's, I know it sounds really silly. <laughs> I think you need to explain to us, Gabby, how you came up with four Blightsteel Colossi in that screenshot you took. Here? So basically what happened in that match is I was pretty much going to be dead and then I got Platinum Angel, which we saw LRR actually get in the previous match. And so Platinum Angel reads, uh, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. But it doesn't stop you from winning the game, right? 
So this match kept on going for a while, and like if they can bounce, I was dead. I mean, I was at negative life. So if my opponent was able to bounce Platinum Angel at any point, I was gonna just be dead. But then I had Archetype of Endurance, which is the like eight drop that gives all of your creatures hexproof. So then I have the Angel with hexproof, right? They can't kill it. Um, then they had Platinum Imperium, which means that their life total can't change. And then I had some other creature whose name I don't remember, and it says that like creatures can't attack. Period, except for artifact creatures. So the strategy in that game was get to 12 and just keep throwing cards until you eventually get a Blightsteel Colossus. So eventually I ended up with four, and the only and Blightsteel is indestructible. So just keep attacking like infinite times until eventually you deal your opponent infect uh, 10 infect. <laughs> Sounds fun. It's, it was weird. <laughs> it was a really weird game. It was a really weird game. But yeah, Platinum Imperial, Platinum, Platinum Angel. Angel, all these uh, all these Platinum cards are pretty good in Momir. I'm I'm trying to join the game. Trying to join the game. We're in yeah. the getting for serious room. <laughs> yeah, um, it's telling me that uh, I don't have a valid deck. Do you have sixty one cards? Because sometimes you think you need sixty, but the big counts as one. I do not. Um, I actually have this submitted as a freeform Vanguard deck, and it's telling me that it's not the right format. So there's actually a way you can. There is actually like a type of deck that is Momir. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you go under like decks and binders, if you go to freeform and then you change your deck, you like right click and you go to properties and mm -hmm. you change it instead of freeform get Vanguard to Momir Basic, then oh, you're perfect. All right, I'm all set then. And this has been a nice crash course for our viewers also in how to construct a Momir deck. <laughs> yeah, so typically like the the normal Momir deck has like 20, uh, 20 mountains, 20 swamps, 8 forests, 6 plains, 6 um, islands, and some new techs, or some new decks have the super secret tech of having like two wastes in there. <laughs> um, and the waste help for, I don't know, there's random Eldrazi that have activated abilities that cost um, colorless mana, so. I think you guys are almost in. Yeah, and so, hmm? Sure, so uh, I think you know, we just saw Phage, which I actually have played a lot of Momir and I've never seen Phage come down in uh, in a game, which was pretty cool. But I think probably the best card slash most annoying card you can get in Momir is uh, Hoverguard Sweepers, and that's something that people should be on the lookout for at home. Hoverguard Sweepers is an 8-mana creature that bounces two permanents, or like, it just typically just bounces them, but because all of these are tokens, they just die. Um, Boy. So a lot of times it's just like 8-8, eight, eight, come in, bounce two creatures, you lose your two best creatures, and typically you lose right afterwards. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. All right, ladies, well, I think we're keeping this hand. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's perfect. <laughs> Snap it off. <laughs> At least oh, their right. lands are pretty. They're not like wedges. <laughs> uh -huh. I can't actually see what... I can't actually see what lands you guys played. You guys full oh, art? We're playing with the original Zendikar lands. Oh, hold on, we're not starting yet. Oops. <laughs> we're just kidding. Just kidding, Psych. that land that I played, you didn't see it. <laughs> Super <laughs> secret tech. All right, so we are ready to head down to the match. We will see you guys in the future match area. Hello and welcome back to the feature match area. Uh, Hallie Santo and the rest of the girlfriend bracket here with Gabby Sparts to play some Momir Basic. Um, Gabby, which basic lands have you chosen for today? I've chosen Guru lands today. Take a look at this. Bam! Beautiful. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Guru right. Sparts. I love it. Guru is very pretty. These Guru lands are so expensive in paper, but they are nice yeah. online. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Also, everybody at home, we were too quick. You guys didn't see us sneak in those two mountains and play. <laughs> we have Leyline for mountains. Priorities on you, ladies. Oh, all right. 
So what are some of your tips for playing Momir? I know you've played a bit more than we have. Sure. So um, um, there's a couple of things. One of the You guys are doing one of them, I, I already see, which is playing mountains and swamps. So something you want to do when you're playing Momir is there are a lot of creatures that have activated abilities that cost red or black, um, which is part of the reason why you would have something like... 20 uh, mountains or 20 swamps because you want to those want to be the lands that you actually have in play and you still want to have access to things like plains forests and see you hear my secret you can't you guys can't see it but people at home can i have the secret tech of wastes in the deck as well yeah um, so you want to um do something like play those lands first because it'll let you activate fire breathing on the dragon or like uh, a creature like a shade maybe has an activated ability that costs black and then some of the other things that you don't want to do are things like not play islands because a lot of creatures have island walk or even forest a lot of creatures have forest walk and so that'll give your opponent an advantage all right uh so right here what do you think about making a two drop Aaron and chris i'm down all right sounds good let's let's pitch a mountain i want to see what we get make a two drop let's see let's see what we get And we have Heartwood Dryad uh, can block creatures with shadow as though it had shadow. All right. Well, I'm glad we have that. <laughs> Significantly worse than actually <laughs> having <laughs> shadow. <laughs> That's funny. I would hate to lose to a Douthy Slayer. Right. All right. So let's go two drop. Huzzah. You also has a 2-1. That's never going to happen. Uh, but it's a 2-1, so it's fine. I got a very average 2-1. All right. Let's attack. Snap it off. Bam. All right. Still getting the hang of this Momir thing. Ooh, Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Uh, Shadow Mage Infiltrator is a 1-3 with fear, and when it deals combat combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. So we'll get even more awesome lands. Wow, that's that's pretty good. So I need to get kind of lucky here and get a blue or black creature. Let's see if I can hit. Wow, Johnny Finkel. (laughs) Johnny Magic on the battlefield. Not this is actually like one of the, probably one of the best three drops you can get. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Defender one three target creature gains haste until end of turn. <laughs> I don't know about that. This actually, I guess, will help cards later on, but right now it doesn't really do very much. <laughs> All right, in comes Johnny Magic. Yep, get in yeah. there. I'll take it. Why? Well, yes, I will draw a card. <laughs> And I think we can just pass here. I, I kind of want to cast some 11 drops. I don't know. <laughs> I was I was looking through the history of magic, and it seems like we have a lot of sweet creatures at the high mana cost. So. There's a lot of good 12s in the game. There's yeah. a lot of good 8s, too. 9s are, like, pretty bad. 9 is probably one of the worst ones. There's, like, all these creatures that just, like, do nothing at 9. What, is, what did I get? 100-handed oh. one. I remember. I don't mind if I give this guy haste. <laughs> oh man. Alright, I remember that guy from Theros. Yeah. I love the claws on that, that it can block up to 99 things. Yeah, it is awesome. very nice when it actually becomes monstrous. Yeah. Alright, let's try and pretty get a 5 drop here. Pretty nice. Alright, All right, I see your 100 handed one and raise you a Battle Flight Eagle. <laughs> When it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus two, plus two, and flying until end of turn. Oh, man. All right. Well, Memorial Day is coming up. It's very America. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. All right. So let's go Mountain Moir. I guess I'll discard a swamp. That's fine. Uh, What do we get? When Emrakul's Hatcher enters the battlefield, put three. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. (laughs) That is pretty good. Wow, that was I very kinda... Broadway, Gabby. Do it again. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> broke it. This is great. <laughs> I actually have gone, like, this wall's been really good so far. I just sent in these two. All right, we're going to take six. All right. And. Uh, 
And what do you think, guys? Should we make a six drop? I think let's we, make a six drop. Let's make a six drop. Let's get let's ditch a forest to make a six drop. God, this card's insane. I've never gotten this card in one year. This is so busted. Yeah. <laughs> it's not close to being fair. All right, All right. and we got. got an Exhumer Thrall with Haunt. When it enters the battlefield or a creature dies, well, tokens, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, Haunt. So flavor text. Yeah. yeah. It's got some oh. nice flavor text. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, let's... Hmm. We're at 15. Let's send these guys in. Hold back the Thrall. All right. I will be doing no blocking today. I do love blocking, but not today. <laughs> All right, this is called Going Ham. Sack this creature, <laughs> sack this creature, sack this creature. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. So you have nine mana here? Let's see, I think so. Yes, I have nine. I'm going to discard this waste. Huzzah! Watch me get like one of those creatures that dies when it ETBs. Oh, uh -oh. I got one of the bad ones. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two life if you do search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put the card on top. I, that doesn't do anything, and I may pay five to bring it back. And if you really need a forest. <laughs> well, he is gonna get uh Yep. Haste here. I guess I could leave it behind and block the Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Maybe that's fine. And this guy's a 3-3. Three, three. Let me take three. Yeah, you guys are at five. Nah, I can race this. Alright, let's go. Alright, we'll trade your three threes. Get that haunt trigger. Get that haunt trigger. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. We'll do that. You know, we talked about having an eagle and Memorial Day and Murica, and I just realized Gabby has a rampart. <laughs> oh, so over her rampart, it's I watch. Hello. On theme. <laughs> Chat's like, you can stop anytime. Right, mm -hmm. what do we get? Angel <gasps> of Despair. Oh, that's pretty Ooh. good. It's permanent, too. Yep. All right. So, let's see. What do you have here? Hmm. I think getting rid of the 5-5 five five is probably good, unless we should... Well, letting her give things haste is probably a problem. What do you, what do we, what do you guys think? Hmm. Five, well, it's five? not like she's going to be activating the the hand in one anytime soon. Yeah. I think get rid of the five five. Yeah. All right. That was that was my first thought. So, bye bye, Brigger. He was not long for this world. <laughs> <laughs> I have fond memories of the angel that used to be Dredge's one of Dredge's primary animation targets before oh, Ashen really? Rider came along. Yeah. And That's now we cool. just use Ashen Rider in its place. All right. So let's go mountain. Goodbye, planes. Let's get something good. A 4-4 four, four oh. trample when it attacks. It gets plus 3, plus 0 oh until end of turn. All right, you have haste. <laughs> ah. For each attacking beast. Uh-oh. Uh, so it's a 4-4? Four, four? Yeah. Wait, isn't this a beast? Oh, each other attacking beast? Oh, man, that's a punt. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you yeah, tried. All right. Um, we're at a pretty Oops. stable position. Maybe we should save up our lands, unless you think we could get an 8-drop out of this. I want an 8-drop. <laughs> All right. All right, Aaron, I'll give you an 8-drop. <laughs> it's Momir. Come on, <laughs> let's live the dream, man. All right, we're going we're gonna to curve out in a big way. <laughs> Hell yes. Alright. Let's get rid of a forest. No see way. what we get. Alright. Wolf pack. <gasps> well, this is like the card that has basically unblockable. <laughs> <laughs> Cards are weird. I like it. We are at seven. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna attack with these guys. That's fine. Alright. Man, Shadow Mage has been so good. How many cards has it drawn you? Quite a few. Okay, so I'm getting, what, an eight? It should be good. Mm. Drawing all the lands off of Shadow Mage. Hello. 
When you control, control no, no islands. Island sacrifice it, cool. <laughs> oh, I know which land I'm pitching next. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so I guess I just pay out here. Those are the creatures that you get in Momia where you're like, mm. oh, all right. <laughs> at least that one ETB'd. A lot of times you just like get nothing. You're just like Momia and you're all like, right, let's oh, see what we got. got nothing. Hand of Emrakul. Hmm. Sweet. That later one's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, so we can attack for two, three, eight. We could actually, this could be game, because five in the air, seven for the wolves, and one with fear. Yep. Yeah. Isn't that 13? Uh, 12. Yeah. I think we send them all in. You could even send in the bird just for, yeah. <laughs> just for safety measures? It's just, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't block anything. I will block it for sake of blocking it, but this guy cannot. <laughs> yeah. And those are the few times where you can get punished for, like, not actually having an island in play, but a lot of times you get more punished for having it. Right. That was awesome. Uh-oh, sideboard tech, y'all. What are we going to do? Send it in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know, I could switch out to some battle for Zendikar lands. We should have, like, really agonized. I like, would <laughs> we'll like to play first. Alright, I'll we'll keep this. I'll keep, even though it doesn't have any mountains. <laughs> no big deal. Don't get mad, but I totally thought of a scene from Spice World when we were looking at our <laughs> side <laughs> Mountain! There's a mountain. <laughs> Which scene from Spice World? And she was like, do I want to wear the little Gucci dress? Or, or, the, the, or little the little Gucci, Gucci dress. dress. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out what lands we want. Like, oh hmm. my god, I remember What that. is this? Ray Surfing Hunter deals one damage to target creature or player? Wow, this is excellent. That That's sounds pesky. busted. Does it fly? No. It's just a 1-1. One, one. Alright. Let's see what we got. Um, I'm going to be shooting this down. One, one. Whenever an opponent permanent is turned face up, but a plus one plus one counter on Avon Farseer? Alright. <gasps> what? Oh. I got excited though for a second. Whenever a permanent is turned face up. Oh yeah, so it's not gonna... Yeah. Let's just shoot it down. Well. Womp womp. <laughs> I'm on the play, so I'm actually gonna skip my three here. Alright. Let's, let's make a three drop. Wouldn't it be funny if we kept playing things with like one toughness and she's like, whoop. <laughs> Straight oh. target team creature that dealt damage. <gasps> wow, that's really good. That's pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's discard this island. Ooh. Land or one path enters about to discard two, then reveal the top card of your library. It's a creature card. Oh, nice try. <laughs> Oh, cool, yeah, I'll put this on top, and I'll bottom that for us. <laughs> All right. Sure you don't want to ping us with your merfolk, Gabby? <laughs> <laughs> All right, four drop, here we come. Let's we need, go. like, a drum roll sound every Let's time. go see, Drino. Uh, yes. It's a one four that can get plus two plus zero oh until end of turn. All right. We do have two mountains to pump it. That is true. Mm -hmm. Not at the moment. And exalted is nothing to cry about. Mm -hmm. All right. I am not attacking into this, so I'm going to pass. Yeah, I can't even ping here, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we can send away that planes. What is this? Zero, one, five mana damage that you... That would reduce your life total to less than one, reduce it to one instead, and it morphs. That is a weird card. <laughs> that sounds pesky. That's a weird card for sure. Does that mean that you never die? Damn it uh, like if it means that I don't die unless like life loss. I would oh. die to life loss, or I would die to infect. I just don't die to going hitting life at zero. Uh -huh. All right. Let's send in the golem. Get that exalted trigger. That exalted trigger, though. That's pretty good. 
And let's spin Go the for five six. wheel. Uh, yeah. Hmm, come on, Selenia Dark Angel. <laughs> Go old school on him. Show these kids what an angel is. Ooh. Panel on the Ruin Sage. At the beginning Hell. of your upkeep, each player sacrifices a <laughs> non-vampire creature. Oh, I see. Wow, that's that's a card. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning of your upkeep, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your upkeep. All right, let's see what we get here. Uh, Swamp King giveaway. When Nestling Worm enters the battlefield, you may switch your library for up to three cards named Nestling Worm, reveal them, and I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> Flavor text. I will not use the ability. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'm just passing here. Mm. Yeah, my attacks are bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which creature are we sacking? I said the golem. What do you guys? I say the golem. Golem. All right. Bye bye, golem. You did a good job. Yeah, I guess I'll suck the empath. All right. All right, come on. Six drop. And an enlisted worm. Cascade. Nice try. <laughs> All right. Do we attack here with Anawan? I actually don't think I mind trading him here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he would crit with the uh, exalted. He'll be a five four, and yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take down, uh, do I care about the sticking around? I guess I'm okay trading this off here. Yeah. All right. Gotta start getting creatures better than this. Let's discard this waste. What is this? <laughs> Seven mana, three six. All right. Nim Grotesque gets plus one plus one for each artifact they control. All right. I guess I'm here. You're gonna feel grateful when you get a mere battle sphere. Let me tell you. I am just waiting. I'm holding up for hover guard sweepers. Six seven. All right. Is uh, is it flattery time? It's flattery time. All right. We got seven lands. Let's see what we get. All right. Uh -huh. Tromocratus. <gasps> nice. Oh my god, this is a good one. <laughs> I love Tromocratus. You say Kratus, I say Kratus. Tromocratus? Yeah, I guess that <laughs> works. And Exalted, make it a 9-9. Nine -nine. Yes. Wow, what am I supposed to do about this? Huh. This is so tough, because I can't... Has Hexproof unless it's attacking or blocking, which isn't going to matter. And Timocratus can't be blocked unless all creatures defending players block it. Chad is saying, rock me, Tromocratus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Love it. Uh... We expect you to die, Mrs. Sparks. <laughs> a very bond. It looks like this fortune thief is going to do a little bit of work. I guess I'm just going to take all of this. All right. Chat seems to think you can get out of this with Grizzle Daddy, Gabby. Oh, that would be amazing. Well, I'm actually pitching an eight, so maybe Hover Guard Sweepers here? Come on, Hover Guard Sweepers! One time. Dealer! Yes! Avatar Slaughter so good! Ew. So I can attack each turn with people. Wow. Problem, though. I don't want to attack with a fortune fee. <laughs> 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 All right, I guess I don't have a choice. Yeah, I think uh, it has to attack a fable. Yeah, they're all attacking a fable. And double strike. Mm. All right. Oh, ours have double strike, too. Yep. Well. <sighs> so we can block here. Let's see. So we can block. Does the avatar have vigilance? The oh, avatar, no, the avatar can't attack right now. It's okay. 
Yeah, Avatar, usually when you play Avatar, you usually win the game, but on this board, I think I'm just gonna flat out lose. Block here, and block here, and take zero. Wait, 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 wait don't we want to get rid of her thing that's keeping her alive? Which thing? The red creature that she can't go below one life. Oh, that is true. All right. I will block <laughs> that. Block that. I've played enough ad nauseum to know that effects like that are quite awesome. All right. We will take two. And then we will destroy this guy. Mm-hmm. Ah. <sighs> well, this is a problem. Um. <laughs> uh, actually, well, she has to block the Tromocratus here, right? Well, Tromocratus, if she blocks alone, it's a 9-9. Nine, nine with Exalted. Right. Well, everything has to attack. Oh, that's right, that's right. So, I believe she has to block the Tromocratus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, do we want to do something pre-combat, though? Well, she could block the worm and then just go to 10. Oh, no, double strike. Oh, that's right. Double strike. Double strike, too. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, um, I'm kind of in a, between a rock and a hard place here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big question is, do we want to do something pre-combat or do we just want to swing out? Well, I, we also run the risk of doing something pre-combat that might hinder us. That is true. All right. So, like, we're in a good spot. I say we just swing. Just swing all right. We are, we are sending them all in. Okay, here we go with Promocratus. All right. Technically not dead, about to be quite dead. Six, seven, all right. I need something real good next turn. Let's spin the wheel. Let's spin the wheel and get an eight drop. Drum roll, please. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> what do we get? Call me Hydra. Ooh. Sweet. It has trample, too. That's it does have trample. All right, Good let's board. see what we can uh, get here. Hovergrade sweepers? Mm -hmm. Nope. This can't be blocked. <laughs> blocked. Oh, man. I guess I'm not technically dead. All right. Hmm. Attack with Hydra? Yeah. It's a 9 9 trample exalted. Go, Hydra, go. Yeah. Okay. Bam. And we will pass the turn. No, actually, I was dead. Were you? Oh. I was. Oh. Oh, we're good sweepers! Damn, the same thing! <laughs> 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 so bad. Uh, yeah, I can't. I forgot this guy has trample, so yeah, if I just, like, chump it, I would go to seven in that case, but here I can't do anything, so... I throw it in front of the Hydra to send a message. That was worse <laughs> way of giving us a second chance. <laughs> oh, well, that's that was awesome. Um, that's funny. I, I had never. What did you guys game. think of uh, Momir? This was uh, fun. This was super fun. I would play this format again. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. I mean, stuff like that happens all the time. You just get, you know, like that's the funny thing about that game too is it looks like I'm pretty dead on board, but if I just get hover guard sweepers, I'm at, I'm actually in pretty good shape. So. Stuff like that happens all the time, and it's just like a fun format to play. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Thank you for showing us what to do, Gabby. Yeah, it is yeah. fun. I'm, I'm happy that we uh, have gotten uh, everybody here and the chat and people on YouTube also to uh, learn a little bit more about Momir. It'll be it's nice, nice to see you this weekend, too. Yeah, that'll be fun. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. If anyone's coming to GP Minneapolis, you can see me and Chris and Gabby will be there. Magic Damatering will be there. Um, quite a few awesome people. So come say hi to us. Yeah, it should be, hey. should be fun. All GP right. Mini's where it's at this weekend. Mm hmm So much to do. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> like, I was going over my schedule. Like, I, I'm staying with Mike Lineman, and he sent me, like, literally an itinerary, and he's oh, like, this is what we're do. doing. Are you and guys, I'm like, uh, do you all know what you're playing this weekend as well? I'm actually not playing in the main. I'm going to play in a Legacy Madness event on Saturday. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, so I'm going to dredge my brains out. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I will see you ladies uh, at Minneapolis, and to everybody at home, thank you for participating in some Momir action. We still have about three more rounds to go in Momir, so, and I don't know, maybe more people will be playing the Flattery. The Flattery was uh, enjoyable <laughs> to see. I never never had seen the pleasure of uh, Phage on the battlefield, so. <laughs> we will be back with more um, CSL after these messages. <laughs>